Well, here goes nothing. Can you use Blender? I can certainly help you with questions about how to use it. Okay, that's all we needed, boys. And here we go for the first time in human history. Can chat GPT make a Blender model? Can you show me how to make a model in Blender? Certainly. Okay, okay. I don't I don't care about this. No, no, no. We don't we don't want any of that. I just want I just wanted yes or no. I, I just wanted yes or no. Let's start with a sword. That should be basic enough. Can you show me how to model a sword? Well boys, let's see if Chat GPT has the skills. Number one, start blender, of course. Number two, delete all the default objects. Okay, be gone. Number three, add a cylinder. Okay, let's see. Adjust the cylinder parameters, and it also wants more vertices. Okay, I can do that. So, shift A, cylinder, and let's just, let's crank up those vertices. Oh, yes, sir. Scale and rotate. Scale to the desired length and width for the blade. Width? We only have a cylinder. So, they want, it, it wants me to use the cylinder, yeah, cylinder select. It, the cylinder is the blade? What the hell? Okay, rotate it a bit. I, I can't really do anything with that. Uh, how do we turn this... I guess we could smush it like really thin on the x-axis. Oh wait, that's gonna mess up. I can't rotate it at all. Yeah, it has to be parallel to the axis. All right, so yeah, I guess we can. We can smush it quite a bit, but that still just looks off. And I guess we can do that too. That's all we can do with uh, scaling and rotating though. Shape the blade. Enter edit mode, manipulate the vertices. Uh, to shape the blade, use techniques, grab, grab, scale, rotate, and extrude. That's all I can use. I can't even loop cut it. So. So scale, let's see here. We're, I'm gonna select the two outer edges on both sides and with proportional editing, we can scale these down quite a bit until they basically make a nice clean blade. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's not very good. Yeah, the faces are getting kind of messed up at the top because yeah, there's, there's nothing connected, so there's, there's just a hole in the top of the sword. Oh, okay. Well, I manipulated the vertices. Add a hilt. Okay. Add another cylinder or a cube. Position it at one end of the blade and scale to the desired size. You know what? I'm gonna be a cube. I'm a daredevil like that. And for a hilt, honestly, that's probably the size I'm thinking. Too bad I can only scale it, though. Refine details. Use additional modeling techniques to refine the shape of the sword, such as adding a guard, pommel, or decorative elements. I'm allowed to use extrusions, insets, and other tools available in Blender. Alright, uh, a guard and a pommel. Okay. Pommel, it didn't specify, so we're gonna have to keep it simple. It'll have to be a UV sphere. It did say we could shape the hilt, though, but it didn't tell me I can use loop guts. So, we're still pretty limited, and I don't think I can really change the shape of it. I mean, I guess we could do something like that. Sure. Then let's just stretch this guy out, make it fit the whole base of the sword. There there we go. And then a guard handle. It said we could extrude. So, oh, I got it. We'll extrude you up like that. Ring select you. Now we can extrude again. Oh, uh-oh. Apply transformations. There we go. That's, that's not that much better. Wow. And there's the guard handle. Yeah, this is looking fantastic. Wow, wow, chat GPT. Then I guess we could maybe scale this out a little bit. I don't know. Without loop cuts, though, it's, it's really hard to, like, give this any shape or definition. Materials and textures. Uh, give your sword a realistic appearance, a shader editor applied to different parts. Alright, realistic appearance. So we're probably going to want the sword blade to be completely metallic. The handle, probably a dark red, maybe? Yeah, that looks okay. And of course the pommel, let's go a nice healthy beige. Beautiful. That looks pretty realistic. Rendering. Once you're satisfied, you can render to see how it looks, but I never added a camera. Um, no camera found. Yeah, I guess. Okay, let's go shift A. Where does the camera spawn in the center of the viewport okay lovely i'm breaking the rules to reposition the camera beautiful and there was no rules about lighting or changing render engines yep adjust for any rendering settings as needed but it doesn't specify so that's what <laughs> Looks like a piece of artwork I would have made in kindergarten. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is pretty crap, I gotta be honest. Uh, never listen to freaking chat GPT for 3D modeling advice. Maybe it can do your homework, but uh, let me look, look, look at this. Look 
Look at this. This is crap. This is absolute crap. Monster Mash was way better at 3D modeling. If you want 3D modeling AI or whatever, just go use that. I made a whole damn tutorial on it. But my goodness, ChatGPT, you're, you're kind of a letdown right now. Monster Mash on top.